my name is Sarah Jean. Welcome to your daily housing briefing presented by TOLA Standards. A sneak peek in what's to come with the news. Divers swim through raw sewage to unclog flushable wipes. Yep, those wipes aren't so flushable. More on that in just a minute. Today, we're going to address a concern from one of our viewers. She has raw sewage backing up in her basement and is having issues dealing with the landlord. We're going to get started now with our tips and outline best practices for dealing with a sewer backup. Our content is not legal advice and strictly for informational purposes only. Our tips today are about the three P's. Remember, they are the only thing that goes in the toilet. Toilet paper, pee, and poop. Anything else may cause a backup. Here are the best practices when dealing with a sewer backup. Tola tip number one, best practices to avoid water damage. Buy water insurance. You can contact HomeServe at 1-855-336-2465. You can also remove extra items from the basement. Tola tip number two, how to deal with a sewer backup. Do this first by turning off your water immediately. If you don't, more water could get in your basement or crawl space. Then, if you're a tenant, contact the landlord, and if you're a homeowner, contact a plumber. Next, make sure that area is accessible. Finally, after the water recedes, clean up the basement with bleach and other cleaning products. But remember, never mix bleach with ammonia. Tell a tip number three. Best practices to avoid a sewer backup. Avoid debris in the drain such as lint, oil, and hair. And if you don't have one already, consider investing in a sump pump. Don't end up with housing problems. Check out our other episodes on this page and learn to practice best practices for better housing with TOLA standards. Please post any questions, comments, topics you want to see covered and subscribe and go out and like our TOLA Standards Facebook page for more information. Next up in landlord tenant news. According to Cron 4 News, officials said that divers had to swim through raw sewage to unclog pipes blocked by flushable wipes. Well, <laughs> that stinks. It took three days of 24 seven work to get the pipes back to normal. Divers had to go 90 feet under with bare hands to find the issue. They found lots of wipes, a baseball, and a big piece of metal. The moral of the story is only flush the three P's, toilet paper, pee, and poop. It's important that landlords and tenants learn best practices for better housing to avoid these and other problems. We sincerely hope that you've enjoyed the content we've delivered to you today. As always, please subscribe and go like our TOLA Standards Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining TOLA Standards on your daily housing briefing. See you soon.